Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! So before we start discussing yung dividing monomials, recall muna natin ang ating quotient rule. Okay, so if we have x raised to m over x raised to n, notice na pareho yung base nila, the answer to this would just be x raised to exponent ng numerator minus exponent ng denominator. Kaya m minus n. Another one to remember is itong power of a fraction rule. Okay, so kung meron kang fraction and yung buong fraction na yun is raised to a power a, i-distribute mo to sa numerator and sa denominator. Kaya ka may x raised to a over y raised to a. And lastly, itong zero exponent. So ibig sabihin lang nito, any number or any variable raised to zero is always just equal to one. Okay? So, dividing monomials. Gagamitin natin yung quotient rule ng ating loss of exponents. So, here, meron tayong x na base and meron din tayong x na base. So, what do we do? We just subtract 3 minus, anong imaginary exponent niya dito? 1. Okay? How about y squared? We have y squared sa taas and another y squared sa baba. So, ang y natin dito would be 2 minus 2. So, una natin gagawin is, yung coefficients. So, 15 over 15 times x raised to 3 minus 1 and then y raised to 2 minus 2. Okay? So, simplify yan. We will get 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So, 3x squared y raised to 0. Okay? So, since raised to 0 ito, pwede natin siyang tanggalin lang because it's just equal to 1. So, our final answer is 3x squared. Okay, one more example. Here we have 8x cubed yz over 9x squared y raised to 11, z raised to 2. Okay, so katulad si kinawa kanina, um, divide lang natin yung coefficient, 8 over 9, and then isa-isahin natin yung variables. So here we have x, 3, minus 2, y, 1, kasi numerator minus denominator, minus 11, and then z, exponent ng numerator, which is 1, minus exponent ng denominator, which is 2. Okay? Kaya 1 minus 2. If we simplify this, we will get this one. x raised to 1, y raised to negative 10, and z raised to negative 1. Okay? As you can notice, merong negative exponents dito. According to our negative exponent rule ng ating loss of exponents, Kapag meron kang negative exponent, ang gagawin mo lang dyan is gagawin mong denominator yung buong um, term na to or yung expression na to. x raised to negative n, gagawin mo siyang x raised to n, this time magiging positive siya kapag nilagay mo na siya sa denominator. Okay? So, going back to our example, itong y raised to negative 10, nilipat lang natin dito sa baba. Ganun din yung z raised to negative 1. So, again, kakopy nyo pa rin yung kanyang exponent, ha? the absolute value of its exponent. Okay? So, ayan lang yun. Okay, lahat naman ba na gets to? Let's answer some more examples. So, yung dividing monomials natin, meron namang shortcut yun, especially kung, may, kung yung result mo would have negative exponents. So, let's try. Number one, we have 4x cubed yz divided by 6x raised to 5 z squared. Okay? So, this is just equal to 4x cubed yz over 6x raised to 5z squared. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito is, ihiwali muna natin itong um, coefficients. 4 over 6. Sa taas, ikupay natin yung exponent ng variable x. Dito, yung power niya is 3. Dito naman, yung power niya is 5. Okay? Kung mas mataas yung sa denominator, mag-maintain mag -maintain natin siya sa denominator. Pag mas mataas siya sa numerator, yung power niya, maiiwan pa rin siya sa numerator. In this case, mas mataas yung power ng x na nasa denominator. So, dito natin ilalagay. And then, just subtract that. 5 minus 3, that's equal to 2. Okay? How about y? Wala naman tayong y sa baba, so, dyan pa rin siya. How about z? 
mas mataas yung power nitong z kesa sa dito sa nasa taas. So, nasa denominator pa rin siya. So, z, 2 minus 1, that's equal to 1. And then, ito, pwede natin simplify to yung fractions na natin. Divisible sila pareho by 2, 4 becomes 2, and 6 becomes 3. So, this is equal to 2y over 3 x squared z. Okay, another example. May questions ba dito? Number 2. 12 x raised to 5, y raised to z 7, z raised to 4 over 9 x squared, y raised to 11, z raised to 2. Okay. Um, I-simplify na natin itong coefficients natin. 12 and 9 are, are both divisible by 3. So, ito magiging 3, ito magiging 4. So, 4 thirds. Ano may iwan sa taas? x raised to 5 over x raised to 2. So, nasa taas pa rin siya kasi mas malaki ang 5 versus 2. So, 5 minus 2, that's equal to 3. How about this one? y raised to 7 and y raised to 11. Okay, mas malaki itong nasa baba. So, nasa baba siya, 11 minus 7, that's equal to 4. How about z? Sa taas pa rin kasi mas malaki itong 4. So, 4 minus 2, that's equal to 2. Okay, last example before kayo magsagot. 21 L M cube N raised to 5 over 49 L raised to 7 M raised to 8 N squared. Okay, so 21 and 49, both divisible by 7. This is equal to 3. 49 divided by 7, that's 7. So 3, it's above my 7. L raised to 1 versus L raised to 7. So L raised to 6 ang may iwan sa baba. M raised to 3, M raised to 8, sa baba pa rin. 8 minus 3, that's 5. Okay, how about this one? N raised to 5 over N raised to 2. So, nasa taas. 5 minus 2, that's equal to 3. Okay? Wala namang questions dito, di ba? So, try nyo muna. Okay, sagutan na natin. May nagsagot ba? Number 1. 20xy cube z cube. Sabi niyo kung may mali ako nasulat. Ha? 2x cube times that's 3, sorry. 15yz. Okay, so pwede niyo multiply niyo muna itong nasa baba. Pwede rin direct kayo mag-cancel, cancel. Bahala kayo, okay? In this case, I will multiply. 2 times 15, that's 30x cube yz. Over 20 x, y cube, z cube. Okay? Cancel lang yung zeros. This one, mawawala yung x dito, mababawasan ng isang x. So, this becomes 2. Itong y dito, maka-cancel. Ito, mababawasan ng isa. This becomes 2. Okay? Ito rin, maka-cancel. Mababawasan din ito ng isa. So, magiging 2. Our answer here would be 2 thirds, 2 y squared, z squared, over 3 x squared. Okay? Number two, 42, A cube, C raised to 5, B raised to 2, 48, A, B, C squared. Okay, so 42 and 48, anong common factor, nila, greatest common factor nila? It's 6. Okay, so divide this by 6, 7, ito magiging 8. 7 nasa taas. Okay, A cube over A. Magiging A squared. C raised to 5, uh, nahin natin yung B. B squared over B, titira, B. C raised to 5 over C squ squared, that's equal to C cubed. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Or 7 eighths A squared, B, C cubed. Number 3, 65 X raised to 4 Y cubed over 39 x raised to 7, y. Okay, so 65 and 39, um, common nila is 13. Okay, this is divisible by 13. 3, ito, 5. Okay, so I suggest guys, um, i-familiarize nyo, kahit hindi naman memorize, i-familiarize nyo lang yung common multiples hanggang 15. Okay, 1 to 15. So here we will have 5 and x raised to 4, x raised to 7, so 
matitira x cubed sa denominator. y raised to 3 over y, ang matitira is y squared sa numerator. Okay, number 4, 702m cubed n over 756l cubed m raised to 7. Okay, um, ito divisible siya by 3 kasi 7 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to 9. How about this one? 7 plus 5, that's 12, plus 6. Divisible siya by... Ah, divisible sila pareho by 9. Okay? Tama ba? And at the same time, divisible din sila by 2. So I think yung GCF natin dito would be 18. Pero isa-isahin natin. Divide muna natin siya by 2 para mas maliit yung number. Three, uh, 702 divided by 3... Uh, divided by 2, sorry. That's equal to 356, right? Ay, tama ba? 351, sorry. 351. Okay? This one, divide natin by 2, 378, uh, 70 something. 78. 378. Okay? Now, divide natin sila by 3. This one is equal to, ilan? Tama ba? Oh, divisible sa base 3. 1, 1, 7. Right? This 1 divided by 3, that's equal to 1, 2, 6. Wala naman na atang common. Meron pa ba? Divisible sila ulit by 3. Okay? So this is equal to 39. Ito naman, 42. Okay? So ang greatest common factor nila is 18. So actually, dapat dinivide na lang sila pareho by... 18. Okay? Pero kung hindi nyo alam na GCF niya 18, pwede nyo unti-unti. So, sa taas, we have 39 over 42. Okay. M cubed, M over 7, ito yung matitira. M raised to 4 sa denominator. Okay. L cubed, wala namang cube sa taas. Pwede pa ba to? Ay, o nga, divisible pa sila by 3. Since divisible pa sila by 3, 13, ito 14. Okay, good. How about this one? L cube and N. Okay? Correct na? This is our final answer for number 4. So, medyo madali lang dito pagdating sa variables yung challenge is kasi medyo malaki yung number. So, 13 N over 14 L cube M raised to 4. Okay, number 5. You have 27. So, kaya dapat alam niyo rin yung previous lessons. A cube, C cube, 21, B squared, C squared. So, as you can see, guys, very important yung practice. Kasi ako, ang tagal ko nang hindi ginagawa to. So, napapasin nyo, ang dami ko rin error minsan. Kaya, kahit alam niyo siya concept-wise, mas important yung practice, okay? Um, divisible by 3, this is 7, this is 9. Okay. A cube, wala namang A cube sa baba. Wala namang A sa baba. Okay. B, sa denominator lang. C cube over C squared, okay, may iwan. Okay, this is our final answer. 